A blessed day, viewers and subscribers. Welcome to the boss with another video. All right, guys. So finally, we can move on back to the topic. We don't want nobody calling it about no this, that, and who oh, we know. We're done with that. We move on to the basic. Life, mo life goes on. Okay. All right. So kindly press the like and listen to this lady's story. All right. So the story of me are going on. A lot of females can relate to this story because sometimes when they get employed by a man especially in a found of man as in a boss them try to go around you know and try to style you know to have them way with you know so i have a lady on the phone who share a story where she got through and she's a trying lady and i understand i listen to the story today when i drive in the rain and her story will relate to a lot of females who go through this whether overseas or locally all right so i'm gonna listen to the story yeah? and like it and only can share it we could drive and listen hey good morning mix up boss i have a story which what i like for put out there right i was employed at a certain um company but you know it it'll be like for about nine months, right? And I started working there since year in around March, right? And would you believe it that I've known the owner of the company over 20 odd years. I wish you could kind of understand my voice when you're putting out the voice now, because I don't want anybody to recognize me. Right? I this person I would say I know him only as a friend. I, he has never helped me in any way, shape, or form in life. I have never asked him for help or anything. And when he employed me, we had an agreement that after three months what, we, what he agreed to pay me, he would pay me. And to, for me to get my benefits at NHT and NIS, eventually, <laughs> none of that. Each time when I bring up the subject, it's like he's telling you that it don't make no sense. He don't want to carry the farm come, to be honest with you, because when I... I had to check with um, NHG, I was checking out something. And when I gave them the name of the company, they said, but he's not paying any tax on you people. You understand? And they encouraged me that I can go to the tax office myself and start doing it. But, you know, I honestly, on the 27th of September, you know, that's when the straw that breaks the camel back. I don't know why these owners of company believe that every woman that they employ must fall in their good grace. The man forcefully, you know, come into the office for me, you know, hold me and he kiss me, you know. I may have to push him off, may have to ease him off, and I say, what you do? I say, what you do? You can't do that. I am not your side woman or anything. This never in a way in a the agreement for me work with you. You're just a snake under the grass. He's a married man too for sure you. <laughs> and a big deacon in a church. You understand? I'ma tell myself so you know, me say even though I only income, right? At the time. I make up my mind and I say, boy, I have to go look one next working until me can go back and open my liquor business, you understand? Because I have a liquor business, but I did have to close it down because I did try to refurbish it, you know, for open it back, you understand? I tell you, I tell you, my heart for know that somebody that I know and look up to, you know, and respect, violate me in that way, and from this, 
But just decided to say, all right, that is it. Me need to leave. You understand? Every day you come, you start put pressure, um, additional pressure to the work where I know me, I know my duty that, right? I said to him, say, you want me to be security for the look out for all of the staff, them with the thief. I said, look here now. I don't sign up for them something here now. I don't set up myself and make nobody come kill me now. You understand? At the end of the day, he have worker that come in there that him not pay. And every time they come, they thief in things. Right? Eventually, one time I did say to him, I see it and I tell him, I say, look here, you need to put in security system because this is not safe for me. You understand? I mean, not want nobody to come attack me. Remember, I said, I like anybody is there to protect me. Sometimes I may alone there the the, the um the office. You understand? So I have to know what I do because it's like it's a you know one look at here away. I tell us I don't know good, you know? So I have to be careful. Yeah. But I tell us uh, he because I was the one who opened in the mornings, right? I I reached work late one Thursday per to know, and he said to me that he sent me one back, you know, to be honest with you. Yeah, man. And then he eventually drives out of my pay when we get pay. And I said, I look at him and I say, You were the one who sent me back home. I came a little bit after 10, right? Because of traffic, and I had notified him about the traffic because through the mother road working at the area, there is traffic. So, you know, so anytime um, they have a big pipeline, and so you know, so they dig up the road, so it got cause traffic. He said he don't care, right? And all because he owe me each time when he pay, he keep on a oe oe, and then they respectfully ask him, and I said, So remember that you. You shot me this amount, right? For these previous weeks and I would need it now, right? He said that I'm disrespectful. Because I asked him for it, you know. Then he said to me that, well, I will have to terminate your job right now. And I said, okay, no problem. You understand? Me being the person I am, I could have gone to NIS or NHT again no because of this happened and i said no i go leave him to god let god deal with him because me just all try to focus on even though the business when i try to open me not have no me not have no goods or not of it yet, but i my place so i don't have to pay no rent i just light and water me up here you understand it's a good thing so i may have it still for fall back on if anything you know and He's a person like this. Remember one day, you know, like one worker, like, you know, because them see you and they're lost enough for you as a mature woman. And because, you know, me said to them, say, young man, I'm not interested. You understand? And you need to stop putting, I mean, coming up with your, what you call, you know, you look at arguments and because as you can as you see I'm a mature person and I'm not interested in anyone, right? At this stage of my life, right? And you know, I have my, my kids them, you know. I have my three children. One is living with my father because the near of him go to school also, but I have the other two and I tell myself say, I'm not going to make it bother me now. I'm not going to make them see me cry. You understand? I am at this point right now where the place is like, I would just say, 80% complete because I only the, the, the shelves that I need to put up in order to open back and to put on the door them inside. You know, the inside door, the partition door. You know, by the grace of God, may hear me also. You know, you look up here when we get, me try to buy them liquor liquor, me I tell you, answer, but there's so many of the shelves them right now, me I tell you. Me not have the shelves them, and you know, that's my main problem, and some paint, you know, f because me, yeah, the paint, you know, if you paint the paint out, and thing. 
Yeah, me did prime it out months ago, myself. You know, I try to help myself in help with me know how, because I don't have no help, really. And I have to know me, though, you understand? And to be honest with you, I struggle a lot and I reach this point and there was this family member because he realized say, you know, like you have a polish off on diamond, you know, because the place I look good and everything now. He my offer to help me, but I said no. I don't want no help from them because I know how them stay, them corrupt and stay bad. And I tell you this truth, I don't rather know say. I don't want to go through that the hell again with no family, so I don't want to help from no family. I don't want to lie. You understand? Know because I did complete one building for one already, you know. And would you believe it? I'm very close to the person, too, you know. <laughs> for sure, you. Know? And would you believe it that the person decides to say, hey, even though you're complete, may I beg you for complete if you're back in the days, right? When I'm much younger, about 23 year old me, work and finish it for the person. I want to tell you, say, when I done it, the person had a child, a bad man, me feet and want it. Oh yeah. So I tell myself, say, you see in this life, anything me I do, every time I beg stranger, I do it myself. I don't want no help for no family member. I have had it already. I've, I've been torn down, you know, by family member. And we had a thriving business and within one month, that person tear it down. Me tell you, you know, me tell you, I could have a stroke. My blood pressure was up and down and bear in mind, I had a child at the time, you know, a young baby, you know, so, you know, so I could go work, right? And I tell you, they run it down to wreck, I tell you. <laughs> I have been through it, so I decided to say, I don't do not with no family. I don't want to help for no family member. I'd rather go like a big stranger. I'm not lie to you. Right now, me, a place is at a stage right now. I love for Abel. Like, if anybody out there will hear this and they can afford to assist, like, even if you buy me some ply, um, buy me some ply, and um, but I want to do like cooking too, because me usually do that, but it look at the stove I have, it not go manage, it not, it not, it not, it not good. To be honest, look, I have it overboard. 15 years, I don't like you, the stove I have. I don't know if nobody out there can sponsor me with six burner stove, I can hear if it's baking, you know, some of them stove, because I have every other thing else. I air fryer, deep fryer, everything else, I can start, you know. My local business, but we just need some shelf. And if anybody out there way can sponsor me some goods, I would appreciate if it start out. You understand? Because my tell you honest truth, me it's like me hit ground zero at this point. Me not lie you because it's true. Me I try to finish up my local place. Me me eventually when I spend up my money, it come on the money have my work. And you know, so with bills and everything, sometimes when I don't pay bills, sometimes I don't have much left. I mean, to make sure I don't get the food for eating, you understand? Yes, yeah, so at the end of the day, I'm not afraid to ask the help. I tell you honest, I just want to take my help from, from that particular family member because, you see, I've me, 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 me been through it already and I don't go, go back through it again, you know? And I see all families stay, so I don't want to help from them. I tell them it's true. I rather take help from a stranger right now. Yeah, but you understand? And I tell them in life, I know a lot of females going through this. You understand where you work? I mean, whether a boss or a supervisor or a manager try to come on to you. And when you push them off, it's like you reject them, you crush their ego. It's like them fire you. You understand? Them fire you. You understand? And and in the idea, everybody, you know, they work to, while, while people go to work, is to earn money to take care of their responsibilities, you understand? And at the end of the day, I don't say, you know, sometimes you have to make a decision because I stand on my morals and my values and I will never sleep with anyone, you understand? To help me out. I will never sleep with a boss, supervisor, manager. 
and a son. And these people, I mean, when you're an attractive person, yes, but you don't invite them into your life. It's like, it's a, you know, I mean, not every woman at this stage, especially when they're in the tribe, get back on your feet, is interested in relationship. I don't like you because at this point, no. I try to get on my feet when I know that I don't because I'm not that person who used to depend on anybody. I understand me do things to myself. All that I have achieved, all that I have achieved. And if you wish to call me up on video, yeah, but I wouldn't want to put out the video out there. I can show you my place that I have. You know, like a business place where I have where I try to set up. If you wish to call me on video, I'd a convenient time to you or anything, you know. I'm back home now, so I'll be able to go on video. It is my place, and uh, I'm a Billy from ground to yesterday because you know, when I get fight, you know, when I start, I start it, and it took me about you know, say about four years, it took me for done this, yeah, man, four years to bring it away. The man, I like you because you see, me an ambitious woman, you know. You know, you understand? Me very, me very consistent with things that I do. You understand? Me, me, a, me a go getter. You understand? So I'm not the type of woman who sit down and lazy. Me, me, me tell us if if any little thing me have to do on the building. Yeah, man, me put on my little shoes and take time mix concrete and do it. But right now, you understand? Me I tell her for sure. You say me a hard working person. Yeah, me a very hard working person. But this, you know. I know my mother could be before go to school. You understand? She in a primary school, and her father, he left Ghana, America, and he, he message him tell me when me call him, he say, "Remember you have your daughter, you know, and then I call him a couple months ago, and I say, "Remember you have your daughter for help with." <laughs> he said, "I forgot find any means and way to take care of myself." To be honest with you, I didn't even drop a tears. I said to myself, I go and continue praying because I said, God, God, I know you're going to make a way for me. So I'm not worry myself. I know you're going to make a way for me. So I'm not worry myself. But you know, by the grace of God, I tell you honest truth. You understand? Um, reason when. When I did a little business and, you know, because I need an extra income on the side, I kind of run the business and then go to work, I get a little work, you understand? And, because you know, so if you, you understand, because you know, sometimes things slow and whatever, but at the end of the day, I have some bills that I want to clear up, so that's the thing when I try to, you know, to balance out myself with another work, you know, I run the little business and go work, but, you know, eventually, I have to stop, you know, you know what I'm saying? And me, me not go really, you know, I'm not really bury down myself right now. I know I say, God, I'm going to make a way for me, I understand. But me just know, me just know certain and certain people for you, you know what I'm saying? Me, me kind of scared right now, if you know what I mean. Me, me kind of scared for really go back out there, go work. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I'm not ready for no one to me. I do my little business by myself. And nobody now going to try to violate me. Because he violated me. That boss, he violated me. You understand? And because he violated me, I talk about it. You know, so even, then, even though I never tell the other worker them, but I tell somebody where I know, you know, close friend of mine that, you know, we can share things with, you know. And she has to me, say, boy, trust me. You know, make no sense, you know, because you see, you know, falling in good grace and you might go bring up all kind of things you now and put pressure upon you with work and you understand? Yeah, because at the end of the day, there is part of the work where he no not teach me for do, but yet he might complain, say, me no, me no do it. And him for teach me for do it, you know, and me can't do it as yet, and yet still he might complain about that. So I say, you know, every day is a different thing. Rata run all over the place. I may tell us, I may tell him, I see it now, I tell him. Oh, Jesus. I may say to you, say, Mr. Sir, but I appreciate you buying some gloves because it's not, this is unsanitary because rat, you need to get, um, either you get a pest control come, um, deal with the place or what, because they must help me out. I'm going all the office sometime, all rat feces, I sit on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why well, I me mean, tell her then what I do you know with, with garbage, you know, see I'll be here at night every day. Yes, and him no one pay nobody for a while he come and he may come the way he use all the while he must say. He must tell me one, you know, me if he carry it out, right? And I say, where's the gloves? You need to get gloves. You understand? Him say, me if go take up a bag and go wash me and after me say no. That is not healthy because rats are running all over it and rat pee pee pan bag and I miss pan bag and everything. You understand? So realize that this man is only for himself. You understand? I tell us a boy. I just talk about me just want you to, you know, put it out there and if anybody is willing to assist me in getting those things so we can open back. And anybody can sponsor me some goods for me start. Mother appreciate you, understand? I try not for me try not for you know, even though I'm depressed, but I try not to make the kids them sister me depressed, you understand? Yeah. Yeah man, I try not to make them sister me depressed. I go and hold it, you understand? Yeah. I try to hold it, you know. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm not break down in front of them, you see me? So at the end of the day. I just live. I'm mean, there still a prayer and I say pray to God something come true for me. And thing, you know, yeah. Come on. Well, bless up yourself, still. I would appreciate you um if you could distort the voice, you know, a little and put it out, you know. And if anybody willing to reach out to you and you can assist me, I would appreciate it honestly, you understand? I have everything else so I can start the business, but the thing about it, I have the counter where I like, could I separate the customer from which part me would have done. You understand? I don't have the, the material or money for buying the material for DVD. You understand? Yeah. So it's kind of difficult, you understand, at this stage. But I don't give up still, you understand? I don't give up. I have to learn this truth. I don't give up. I have, to, I have to just try to push on and just, you know. I eat that for me, isn't it? Yeah, at the end of the day. Right now, I tell you, so right now, I'm going to send my daughter. I'm going to send my daughter to school today. You know, you look at money I have left. I'm going to just split in a two right now. If it's in for today and tomorrow or so, you understand? And get a little break for care, isn't it? So I just say, go. This week, I pray to God that something will come true for me. You understand? Yeah. You know? And, you know, life, you know? Oh, God. But now, for those amount of time, I mean, get up, I just come down out of the house and just go one side and just do me like a prayer and thing, you know? Come in all the kids in see me up cry or nothing. So we must try for wallet, you know, for them. Yeah, son, yeah. Must try for wallet for them and all that, you know. Yeah. Must try for wallet for them because I know and them you know and them see me up cry, you know, yeah. Yeah man. Oh and them see me up cry, so me I go and wallet for them. You see me? And I swear to God me give a free get some help, you know, because a girl children the man, you know. But I rather for most of me they won't but we can you know, if we get the help for open the little business back, we can be able to man it and my kids um, better, you understand? Yeah. Can you be for money to them because you know a girl children the man they might grow. And we don't want nobody come try Abuse him or anything, you understand? So, I have, have to know, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, man, we just, just there still, you no? Know? Hopefully, you can reach out, and if you wish to call me in a video, yeah, man, um, I'll be available. We can show you the place and all that, you know, what I need to get back on my feet to start taking care of my responsibilities, them again, you understand? It's a challenge, but uh, today it is true. I go and hold it, yeah. And I go and hold it because you don't know, you see, if me ever forget to help, I can't pay my bills, you understand? Because 
Maybe I'll see this man for pay. Yeah. And you never see the first dollar yet for pay it, you know? I understand, but then I can't get like a help for put up the shelf them and get like a goods. I tell you, so me as a person, I still have me with us, so I pay my bills, so I don't want me to them, you know what I mean? I just need that, you understand, yeah. I just need that, yeah. You said a person who drink or party or smoke or them something that even yesterday, for sure, you. My work, I tell you, say, I have two shoes alone I have when I wear or work. You understand? Because I guess it's true. I have my goals in front of me when I want to achieve. I don't really watch that. I don't like you. You understand? People might see me in my two little shoes, them and two single shoes, you know. But yes, sir. Yes, it's true. I focus on what is ahead of me. I don't really watch that. I wear them every day. I clean them off and wear them. I don't mind. You understand? One of them have a big bread, but I never care. I tell you honest truth because I focus on buying So You understand? Get myself up and running, you see me, so I can't not have to work for anybody. Yeah, man, I wear the, me wear the, the shoes that work, man. Yeah, man, I have in the front, the front, the, the, the shoe, the big bread, the crep, I tell you. Man, look at cheap crep when I get, when I get, you know. I wear it, man. But I have one of them type of person, you know. I focus on clothes or shoes and them things there, you know. I understand, yeah, I'm going to focus on him something, me, me, because I know I'm going in front of me, I'm going to drive it down my little place. You understand, but eventually I hit, me hit, me hit, I hit ground zero right now, you know. I try not to be depressed because I'm a low pressure person, you know, when you're stressed, you're a low pressure. You can drop them at any time, so I try my best not to, you know, I tell you the honest truth, I try my best not to. Slipping out of the depressive state again because you understand, because I'm a low pressure person, you understand, and I try not to stress myself because, yeah, you know, uh, you know, oh God, just pray for me, you know, my brother, and just, you know, if anybody reach out to you and want to assist me, you know, I would appreciate it, you know, if they hear this story and would they like to help. I want to be learning a life. As we tell you, we may not suffer. I mean, like, suffer, suffer, you know. You see the family member where we don't want to come in for my business now. He had his money, you know, and he would even help me, you know, even though I never asked him you know, about to see any here. And at the end of the day, you know, me reach this point where the place. Made it, made it complete, made it, you know, it, it, it found complete and he want to come in now. But I know him have a plan for me, so he want me to I tell him, say, no, I don't want any money. I tell you honest truth, I don't want no help from them because I get by it already, they want me do business with family and them, them, them tear me down to the ground, man. Trust me, tear me right down to the ground and tell me, yeah, if I bounce back by my feet, you know. I take loans and there's something eventually. I pay off them loan there and done with them. And I say, you know, I got to take my time and do what I do. You yeah, understand? I tell her, I've been through it. I've met it out. And I want to know only the advice. I say, anytime you see a person like you, a family member, start a building and tell you, say, come finish it and take it. If you do it and if you help yourself, make them put it in a writing. That's the only thing I never do. I never met the person put it in a right, you know, just verbally, and that's why you're able to know. You can't tell me, say, yo, you want it, but no, because I finish it for them. You understand that's the first place when I did finish, you see me? So you see, this is mine now, this is my own now, right? I'm very careful what I do because at the end of the day, I don't want nobody to come try. You understand? Come in, come on, come take over. This is for, this is for my youths. I struggle, stress, and go through everything. and. <coughs> This is for my youth, you understand me, and injure my back and everything, but by falling, you know, by trying to do some work on you and drop and injure my back, so I have to be careful. I too can't lift up nothing too heavy still, you understand, but I alright, you know. So, really and truly, I don't want to help friend of family member because I realize you have a plan in my back and head. And you yeah, understand, I'm mean, not under stress right now. I'm ready to say, I do this by myself. Yeah, I'm for me, I'm you, then, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm ready to get help from a stranger right now. I'm mean, telling you honest truth, that's where the point in my life I'm reach right now. I'm mean, not want to help from no family member. And I have my reason why, because some of them, they're coming, they come in 
when you have suffered them not come in, you know. But uh, when them sister yeah uh, take time uh, you know, step up then want to come and then know they say they may want to try to use an opportunity. Yeah, but I don't want to go through that. You know, so I don't want to go through that. You know, so I so. bless up yourself and just, you know, continue to pray for the and thing, you know. But as me there, just there I go and take it easy, you know, and try not to stress myself, yeah. It's why I'm not working or, you know, me hit ground zero. You know, this is a, you know, so to be honest with you, I second stage in my life where I hit ground zero right now. I tell you this truth for sure, you. Yeah, I mean, not everybody at one point in life they hit ground zero, but I just so you got those life, they just have to just, you know, pray and try to seek a way, a way they can, you know, rise up upon them foot, you understand? I tell you this truth, it's, you know, I'm not like you. You understand? And You have people, me have to be careful too, because you have people with the pretense that they want to help you and then they want to try to come on to you, which I'm not for at this point. I tell you the honest truth. I am not. And this is the reason why I stay by myself. I choose to stay single because I am a girl children. And you understand? Me and my girl children, I don't no want nobody to come try to abuse them, you know, in the, under the pretense say. You know, they're interested or whatever. Because honestly, me, me just tell my sister, I lock myself from relationship right now. Honestly. Me, me, me I try to get back on my feet. And this is the reason why I decide I'm, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Because I'm not used to depending on anyone. I'm a person who used to doing things on my own as an independent person. I mean, I depend upon nobody. That's me. You understand? I've never had to do that over the years. I was brought up not to depend on anybody. I tell you honest truth. So I'm kind of scared where if somebody will come on to me, even if they meet, whether they meet me good or not, I go scared because, you know, I've experienced that. And um, I tell myself, so. that's it, you know. That's it for me, you know. With relationship, can stay for now until, you know, I'm on my feet because people will take this advantage of you when they know that you're in a situation. And I won't do that. I won't I won't let anybody come and take this advantage of me. I'd rather to be alone. So that's the thing about me. You know, mentally I have made up my mind not to get into any relationship at this point. I just want to get on my feet when make you help me use them. That is my main focus. You understand? Yeah. And honestly, by my children, life. You know, just life still, you know. All right, guys. So when you hear it, when I listen to the answer, what me you share, you know, it's a little assistant for something. But um, I don't know, cause my people are over here funny, but I don't start nobody thing if something in a something. So like I said, I try, but I don't want to start. I don't put this out there. I don't want nobody to hear our story. And come start telling me them problem because I'm done with me no do charity and I go back in it. I don't have time for it. Okay? So I'm telling you straight. So if somebody I watch and feel like they want to turn number for assessor, this program is not about that. But me, me never hear when she says so. Because I listen to the video to all the mention, I never listen to it come way up to this. But so like she got through a couple of things with family and boss. So I know them type of life there. So my man. You have some man through them know them um situation and try to take advantage of it and them no one then they just want to use them. But anyway, I saw you go. Six or one half dozen other. Alright? So big up on yourself guys and may I come live now. Thank you very much for watching this video, my gun.